one. Hello everyone, it's Kay here and I've come to share a very special haul with you. I don't usually do haul videos as those that follow me probably know, but this was rather lovely because it fell on my very special birthday week, I'm going to say, and that's my excuse for having a little spend up and I actually was taken to the West Point craft fair in Exeter yesterday in amongst torrents of rain and really quite dire road circumstances and places but however we got there safely I'm testimony to the fact that we got back safely but I did want to share some of the absolute bargains I found at the show and if you're green with envy do feel free to comment at the end there because you know, it's lovely to know that someone has done good, so to speak. So my first, first purchase was, oops a daisy, this, which is the Graphic 45 Baby to Bride. And it's the Collector's Edition, which is rather, rather super. I'm not going to take it out of the wrapping. It needs to be in that for the time being. But as a collector's limited edition, you do get all of these lovely extras as part and parcel of the package. The lettering, the chipboard cutouts, if I can slide this along, you then have the sticky ones as well. So it's, you know, either something that you would keep or something that you would utilise in an album or something of that nature. But... I got it for a massive 50% off, which brought it down to £12 and a few pennies. So I was already feeling very pleased with myself. Excuse the rustling girls, it, um, and boys, it gets a little bit frantic and fraught here. I then went to this stand where this rather lovely lady was working, and she was showing people how to turn these little things, printer trays with apertures or extra bits in them into little minis. They, they just, I, I can't explain it, I will come back and show one when I've made it, but basically this is the window, you then get other bits of the chipboard that make pages and then you've got a front and a back covering and it's up to you how you decorate them. But at £3.50 each, I thought that was an absolute bargain. And I also got these lovely owl stamps. I'm a bit partial to owls and so are a lot of my friends. So I thought I would get this one, which is a delight. It's got from You Know Who and Have a Hoot on Your Birthday. And then these gorgeous little owls that the lady that was selling these had sent tangled hand painted, used the Copic markers and all that kind of thing with and it really brought them alive so that was a I've got to have that moment. I had several actually but we won't go there. I then found this other gentleman who had, he said, made a huge purchase just to save us ladies some money. Well you've got to go along with the spiel and I got these Joy die cuts and they really are very, very lovely. Huge reduction. This one was £3 and it is absolutely gorgeous. Quite intricate, but I could see it um, on the binder of a spine in a mirror board or something of that nature. Floral flourishes, which was £3.90 two different size flowers that can be layered up. This gorgeous little decorative corner here for just two pounds. Two pounds for this decorative corner and they, they are just such a delight. And then five pounds for this more ornate um, die which gives you the clear space of sentiments or flowers and then the beautiful flourishes all the way around so all in all I was absolutely delighted with those little finds. Then I had to have a little bite of um, Timmy Holtz because a girl does doesn't she and this stall was doing three stencils by Tim Holtz for £10 which again 
I just couldn't resist so I got the um, clock faces this lovely flourish here which is very similar to the embossing folder that Black Cat Black Cat Crafts 13 sent me excuse me I always trip up over Dee's name and then this which I thought was very lovely even if you just used little bits of the words on your work it's a, a really nice you don't have to use the the uh, Valentine and Cupid but it's got some very lovely sentiments on it so I decided I would have those see how naughty she's been already and then I found this one on another stall which I thought would give a lovely lovely textured background to uh, canvas work mixed media work I just fell in love with that one for $2.99 and then where am I oh yes here's a lovely little bargain I'd never seen these before from the Zutter company and you can see it's in the box here untouched by human hands except the packages and it is a spiral spinner album now i ummed and ahed about getting this and showed the film crew because it is a one-off make but you would obviously have the materials there should you want to do something similar and it was actually reduced from 25 pounds down to five and so he said to me because he's full of wisdom why don't you just get it because at five pounds that's a bargain any which way Ooh, that was yeah. just something landing on our conservatory roof From so i did the needful and bought that one which i'm quite pleased with they had a lot of zutter things there um there were there was another album there they had the wires there all at ridiculous prices but i'd already had a bit of a spend by then so i thought about a behave and then a lot of you who have seen my videos of late um, know that I was given in one of my DT packages some Aileen's Tacky Glue and I came across this stall and there's a fabric one there as well that did all three of these for five pounds and I just couldn't walk away from it basically you know that just was too good to pass up so I hope you're enjoying this ladies I do feel very proud of my little boys here I really really do um, Gary bought himself some leather patches which I will share with you in a moment I can get them out of the bag it's a huge bundle all done up like this and it is good quality leather suede and that was a mere five pounds and there are some quite significantly sized pieces there so Gary's going to have some fun with that some Janome singing um, sewing, machine. sewing machine needles because I've snapped a couple of late and they were quite bargainous and then my bestest bargain of all and I don't know quite how to show you all of this um, you just bear with me if I put them all out, I've already confessed to being a spotty dotty person. So there are those. And this lovely pretty um, blue. And there are 20 sheets in each pack. Then I got this um, pearl, double sided pearl card. And there are 50 sheets in there and that's 170 GSM great quality I've bought from this guy before he really is just if he's there I always I always buy from him this is some um, lightweight printer card but it's good enough for stamping on and doing that kind of thing with and there are a hundred sheets in there Oops, a daisy. I need to. I need more room. Okay, I'll just pop that one back there because I'm running out of space now. Then these cards and envelopes. There are 25 in there, and that is again 
um, quite a high GSM. I can't see the size. I think it might be 5x5. Five five. I'm, I'm not sure, but it's a lovely little card. There's nothing written on it. And then you've got your envelopes on the back, squared. 25 in there. I then bought these 7 inch square cards in black with envelopes and of course I had to have two of those because he didn't have any black card but for all of this it was £20 which makes it roughly £2 per pack which is excellent excellent value I can't tell you you know they're marked up at 4 99 I think that one was 7 99 and then in a mad flurry of let's have half an hour of fun everything was sold at two pounds a pack and I just happened to be there for that so I consider myself very lucky to have been there at the right time so I hope you enjoy my little crafty share it was an absolute delight to be able to go and see all of these things touch them all choose them find the bargains that i found and this will now do me for quite some time so thank you for sharing with me and take care everyone bye bye